Well, good morning. Today I took a day off thinking that, oh, I can get it. I've got a doctor's appointment at 1 30 and I had to get, I need to get the heater fixed on my truck. And I'm sitting here and I was thinking, oh, I can get all this done in one day. Not so much. Because a friend of mine told me about a mechanic shop that he said was going to be cheaper and they were fair and they wouldn't take advantage. And, you know, that's something that I'm, as, uh, and, and whether you want to accept it or not, a lot of mechanics do like to take advantage of women. Uh, they're thinking, immediately thinking they don't know anything about cars. Uh, we can do this, this, and this, and this is the problem. And you end up with a horrific bill. But I always make it a point to look up the problem, figure out what the possibilities are, and get an average uh, cost. So I can say, I think it's this, so you should check that. And I think that's very helpful. And luckily, I'm pretty, I don't know why, but I've, I, I've paid attention to my dad and to various men I've dated who know about cars and uh, know a little bit. And I can usually diagnose something. It's actually a little bit uncanny how good I am at diagnosing problems with the vehicle, even though I can't even change my own oil. But anyway, um, but so I, I took it to this place early this morning, and they said, okay, and all I'm doing is getting it diagnosed because it could be a problem that is two to $300, or it could be a problem that is six to eight hundred dollars the two to three hundred dollar one i can handle the other one not so much not this month so <laughs> uh i go in there and i said hey i just need it diagnosed i've called the guy I, he said to bring it in today and i said okay and they said okay all right well give me your key and we'll let you know by the end of the day if i excuse me by the end of the day for a diagnosis are you kidding me and so i ended up having to get this guy this very very nice mechanic fellow to drive me home and notice now i'm stuck at home instead of doing the errands i had intended to do today but this is something that happens with people who live alone i mean yeah i don't have a ride you know i have one vehicle and uh it's just easier to take care of such things when you take a day off and a lot of and a lot of mechanic shops will give you a ride and that's and that's cool and that is very helpful so just a, a hint to any of my spinster buddies out there or uh is if you would uh, just ask them if they can do that for you before you take in your car because you never know if it's going to take an hour or all day <laughs> even for a diagnosis so um so anyway that's my morning and hopefully they'll have been able to look at my truck before they have to come and get me for my doctor's appointment at 1 30. so um uh, yeah that's fun uh, <laughs> and it's like okay well anyway uh just a hint there are ladies uh and gentlemen if you're by yourself and have to get your and have to take your car to a mechanic shop, just ask how long is it going to be <laughs> before, or tell them, hey, I've got a doctor's appointment at 1.30, can it be done by then, that sort of thing, so, um, fun times, but at least I have an excuse to be lazy this morning, so, you know, awesome. <laughs>